everyone, you are welcome to Prospect Channel TV. Here we give you the latest update of Nigerian news and the world as a well. whole. Thank you very much for subscribing to this channel. If you have not, please kindly do so by pressing the subscribe button. Thank you very much once again. God bless you. Over my dead body, Biafra will never come to pass. The drama between political activists and journalist Kemi Oluloye and the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, is not ending anytime soon. In a latest attack on Friday, Oluloye has vowed to do everything possible to see that Biafra does not uh, come to pass. She said over her dead body, Biafra will never emerge. Never, never in her lifetime, she vowed in a Twitter video. But if I may ask this question, what it concerns this woman with the, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP? What's her issue with them? What is the meaning of this uh, recent attack on these people? Why she decided to be attacking them? I can't just understand. Can this just be hatred or there is something more to it? I'm just asking questions because I'm confused. The other day she said Nam the Kano is dead. That the Biafra nation should ask the leader to make a live broadcast for the world to see. Later she come up again to say that the the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, uh Nam the Kano is still very, very much alive. That he is not dead. Now, she has said that the uh, over her dead body. Biafra we emerge that never, never, ever in a lifetime. So I want to ask this question. What is the business between the Babin Salon and the Vulture? Knowing that Vulture has no hair. So waiting consign them with these people. I'm just asking question because it seems that there is something more to this. But we are gonna see how she is going to achieve this acclaim. Let's see what she's up to. Over my dead body, Biafra will never emerge, never ever in my lifetime. She vowed in a Twitter video. That is Kemi Oluloye. IPOP led by his leader, Nandi Kano, is trying to secede from Nigeria, which has been called a zone accusing the, its leaders of um, marginalizing the South eastern part of the country. Oluleye from Oyo State recently lost a Twitter blue uh, tick, allegedly done to, due to false news reported she tweeted about the IPOB leader. She had tweeted about the possibility of Kano having passed away in Italy, leaving many IPOB members in distress after her message. However, she is claiming now that the Twitter verification remover was her handwork saying it can return if she wants it back. By the way, according to her, many Nigerians know her account, which is the main purpose of the blue tick. So, no verification does not uh, hurt much. I continue to prepare the iPod on Facebook. Imagine them say Twitter took away my verification because I abused Nam the Kano. Thank God for my pinned tweet. I removed the verification. All of you want and I can get it back. If all of you want, I can get it back. It's only to separate the authentic accounts. Nigerians know me now, she wrote. This is her Twitter page. I continue to prepare Biafran on, uh, on Facebook. Imagine them say Twitter took away my verification because I abused Nam the Kano. Thank God for my pinned tweet. I removed the verification all, all of you want. I can get it back. It's only to separate authentic accounts. Nigerians know who I am. And this have triggered so many reactions by the indigenous people of Biafra. I pop. Okay, let's see their reactions here. 
Madam, rest in peace in advance. Sorry, oh, not be me, talk am. Now you choose to die. Okay. All right. This person is saying, if you like uh, tweet or whatever, uh, we be alive and uh, we, we also actualize the Biafra nation. Okay. So, so they are saying here that Kemi has already signed a death warrant. Okay. Another one is saying you will die. Okay. Every hand holding Igbo nation die by fire in almighty name. Okay. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. He caresses us. All right. You will die very soon since it is your, your heart desire. Igbo addict says, uh, who is looking for? A foul or running up and down, you'll be the one to fall. So you are gonna fall. Okay, he said that. Okay, somebody is saying here, God will soon answer your prayer and you will die for Biafra to emerge. The account provides the handle by which it is uh, handled. Your prayer is the type that Jehovah answers very fast. The question is, why does she why is she going this far? Why does she want the uh, the Biafra nations to fall. Why? What's her problem? That's my question. I don't know her problem. You see, the Biafra nations that are uh, answering her here angrily that she she wants to die, that she's going to die because they are going to actualize that Biafra nation. Okay, somebody is saying here, you use the phrase over your dead body, lady, is really unfortunate. Is really late to withdraw your statement. You are already a dead bag. You said your you said that by yourself, and so shall it be unto you. You think it's good to be controversial. You can be elsewhere, but not on Biafra agenda. Kemi, you dead the dead. In the name of God that knows every purpose of Biafra nation, be careful not to end in a hellfire. Your tongue is causing you your untimely death. Now you talk um, with your mouth. Bye-bye. Rest in peace. Okay, another person is saying here, people say you are stupid, but I never believe them. Until now, seeing how you are shamely decided to be enemy to Igbos and then drag the whole Yoruba nation into it. You have left Boko, Boko Haram left uh, the Fulani henchmen and other non-violent organizations to insult harmless and the uh, uh, harmless IPOB. I'm a boy, okay, and I know what it takes uh, to become a man. I don't understand if you understand that adage. Uh, me, I don't even understand that I'm a boy, okay. He said the God of justice will not leave the we not leave to strike you down. The Almighty thunder and the that that cost red hand so eats your miserable dead body. If you don't give up on your insults, be warned. Okay. Alright, so you see that the Biafra nations are they are warning her to stay out from the people of Biafra, asking her what's the problem. There are so many persons that you're supposed to attack. Biafra is just an armless organization trying to actualize uh, their sovereignty peacefully. They're just asking for their freedom peacefully. So why why are you attacking the Biafra nations? That is the question. I've asked this question. I don't know why. She's after them. Uh -huh. Okay, so what is saying here? You should prepare to die since you wish yourself dead because it's coming sooner than you accept. You accept, okay. And so shall it be according to your vow of death. If if it's true, you have signed to die and you will die. Amen to that because you will die and be afraid we stand whether you like it or not. Okay. So that is it, my people. What's your take on this? What do you think about this? Why is she just why is just this suddenly attack on the Biafra nation? Do you think there is more to this? Okay. So please I would like you to leave your comment in the comment box below. 
If you have not subscribed to this channel, please kindly do so. Thank you very much for always stopping by. Bye for now.